Hey guys, it's Carly Ree here. Want to just come in and do a quick um, fall wash and go staple products that I'm just really loving. My hair is just really loving um, right now. So what I basically do, and to give you a little history of my natural hair journey, I big chop October of 2011. I transitioned prior to that for about 13 months. And um, I am right now. 11 months post big chop and my hair I generally like wash and go styles that's basically all I do the length is like was well, past the collarbone it's right here it's where it is in the back and if I the front underneath my chin area so it's pretty long from where I started um when I had my teeny weeny afro, but yeah, I'm a wash and go girl, that's what I do. So let me give you my quick fall routine, and this is what I do. I generally wash my hair one time per week. So I wash once, and the product that I absolutely love, and I have tried a lot, um, you know how that is in this natural journey, you definitely have to find the products that work for your hair type. So what I like is the Shea Moisture brand, the organic coconut hibiscus curl and shine shampoo okay so this is what I use to wash my hair and this has coconut oil in it and neem oil silk proteins and it's basically um, like a gluten free product organic product for natural hair it doesn't have any sulfates and for this to not have sulfates I get an incredible lather but, um, yeah, it doesn't strip my hair of any oils or anything like that. So, yeah, this is what I use to wash my hair with. So, this is what I start off with. I wash it with this shampoo. Okay, and I generally do twice, you know, scrubbing the scalp area. Not scrubbing, but, you know, washing the scalp and then rinsing it throughout my hair. So, after I come out in the shower, and I do this every week, I do a deep conditioner. And I will let it sit on my hair for an hour, two hours, or if I'm in a hurry, I do 30 minutes. But generally, on wash day, I do an hour. And what I have been using, um, this is actually the second purchase of this, is the Miss Jessie Super Sweet Back Treatment. Um, it says, the best darn deep treatments, period. And I love this stuff. It is just heaven. Um, there it is right here. And I purchased this at Target. Okay. And this puts moisture back into my hair. Um, and it smells so, so good. This is the best smelling deep conditioner treatment that I have ever used. And people are always asking, what do you have in your hair? It's like, no, it's my deep conditioner. But yeah, this is what I use. After I wash, I put this on my hair. And I'll part my hair in sections and just kind of spread it throughout my hair. Um, and then detangle at that time and I put on a shower cap with the hooded towel over it and just let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour or sometimes two hours okay so once I'm done with that I rinse it out my hair and the next step is always a leave-in I always use a leave-in conditioner no matter what um, if I don't do the deep conditioner I always do a leave-in but I always try to do the deep conditioner um, as well so it took me a while. I had been using a lot of, not expensive leave-in conditioners, but um, more expensive than what I'm using now. But my staple for leave-in conditioning, and you all in the natural community know probably already, but yeah, it's the Shea Butter Cantu Leave-In. I love this stuff. It's wonderful. Okay, so basically that's what I do. I put on my leave-in conditioner. And most recently, I switched from a curl cream to back to my gel. I don't know what happened, but the curl cream was kind of drying my hair out. So I was like, okay, let me see what's going to happen. Let me go ahead and start putting the Miss, um, the Kinky Curly Custard. I've been using this product for years. Um, even while I was transitioning, I would use it for my wash and goes um, then. But yeah, I love this stuff again. I'm back in love with it. We had a falling out but yeah I'm back in love with the kinky curly organic not organic original curling custard natural styling gel this is hot 
Okay, so yeah, I purchased this big size, and this is the 16 ounce jar. I picked this up at Whole Foods, but yeah, I love this now again. So, after I put the gel on, I will get extra virgin olive oil and saturate my hair with that and just let it air dry. And then, um, this is actually, I've done it today. Today was wash day for me. So, my curls are kind of tight and they usually are on wash day. And then, you know, the second day hair gets bigger and bigger. And I'm, I, I love it the best on the third day. So, yeah. This is basically um, what it looks like um, later in the day. My washing goes. So, yeah. And I do have color on the ends. It actually, I had color in my hair while I was relaxed, but yeah, it's on the ends and it's growing out. And, um, yeah, I plan on maybe one day getting, getting it done. I'll definitely get it done again one day once this, um, grows out. But yeah, that's my wash day routine, my fall staple products for my wash and go. So if you have some products that you would like to recommend, just leave the comments down below and, um, share with me what, you do for the fall for wash and goes. I know a lot of people are doing the protective stylings. I have never done that. I'm just kind of afraid. I don't really know how that will affect my hair. I don't know, but I would like to know more um, if you have any comments on that as well. So yeah, that's it for today. Talk to you later. Bye.